اور ہونا الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ایز آل آف یو نو دیٹ وی آر ہیونگ رمضان ریفلیکشنس اینڈ دو سیشنس ایوری نائٹ فرام لاسٹ ٹین نائٹس بٹ دا فسٹ ون وی ہیو ڈن وت شیخ عبد الرحمٰن سیکنڈ ون ڈن بائی سعد کازمی دا تربیہ وائس پریزڈنٹ اینڈ ٹو نائٹ وی ہیو انوائٹیڈ شیخ داؤد نسیمی از پروفیسر شیخ ڈاکٹر داؤد نسیمی ہو از گوئنگ ٹو انشاء اللہ شیئر ہز ریفلیکشنس آف رمدان اینڈ دبا فوکسنگ آن قرآن انشاء اللہ شیخ داؤد نسیمی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ والصلاة والسلام على رسول اللہ My beloved brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope and pray that all of you are enjoying these special last few days of Ramadan and, in, and benefiting from it in the maximum ways. May Allah help us to really take a maximum advantage from this opportunity that Allah has given us and bless this effort and bless the organizers and everyone as uh, this khatra. Alhamdulillah, we are in the month of Quran, the month of revelation of Quran. And we should remind ourselves that, uh, you know, the Quran was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu within 23 years. But uh, the beginning of the revelation took place in the month of Ramadan. And also the whole Quran was revealed to the angel, to Jibreel Alayhi uh, Salam, from Lawha Mahfuz to another level of heaven where Jibreel Alayhi Salam could have access to it in the month of Ramadan. So the whole Quran was sent to the angel, according to the uh, reports from Abdullah ibn Abbas. And the beginning of revelation took place in the uh, Ramadan, but the rest of the revelation for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took uh, 23 years to be completed. Uh, now there's a very special connection uh, of uh, Quran with fasting that, uh, you know, as we know, fasting has been prescribed to people before, as Allah says, Ya ladina amanu kutiba alaykum as siyam kama kutiba ala ladina min qablikum. So uh, fasting has, uh, was practiced by other prophets and messengers, but what made fasting unique uh, for uh, Muslims in Islam is the fact that it was connected to the Quran, to the revelation of Quran. So Allah asked us to fast in the month of revelation of Quran as an act of Uh, gratitude to Allah for the Quran as an act of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to fast so that uh, you develop taqwa, you develop uh, consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you are conscious of Allah, you are conscious of yourself, you are conscious of others around you and their needs and their values. And uh, you know who, what is life all about and all of that. Now, once we develop that taqwa, then Allah says, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِي هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ This is the book, this is the book in which there is no doubt, and it is a guidance for mutaqeen. While Quran is the guidance for the whole humanity, هُدًا لِلْنَاسِ But it becomes a much more effective means and source of guidance for uh, mutaqeen. So if we develop taqwa through fasting throughout the day, then we listen to Quran at night, And the higher the quality of our fasting is during the day, the more we enjoy the Quran at night. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Quran so that we continuously uh, reflect on it. Uh, Allah says, Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka li yudabbaru Kitabun anzalnahu Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun li yudabbaru ayatihi wa li yatadhakkara ulul albab That the uh, Quran is the book that I have sent to you so that people reflect on it. Tadabbur is a very important aspect uh, that we have to uh, always, inshallah, do and we have to you, read the Quran with tafakur and tadabbur and tadhakkur because Allah says that this is the reason the Quran was sent and people of Ulul Albab, people who have perceptive minds who are really using their minds in the best ways, they are the ones who will take a lesson. So uh, Quran, uh, uh, alhamdulillah, for all of us, that has to be read with tadhakkur, tafakkur, and tadabbur. Uh, very quickly, the difference is 
Tadakor is to take general reminders, general lessons. So anybody can uh, take Tadakor when they just read the Quran. Uh, it's basic reminders, basic uh, lessons. And then Tafakur is to reflect on it uh, with, with the presence of the heart and try to get out uh, uh, something uh, deeper meaning, a fuller understanding of it. Uh, and then Tadabur is a, a higher stage that basically you reflect on the consequences. So you read with responsibility, you reflect on the awaqib that what uh, would happen uh, in, uh, if I understand this Quran, if I read this Quran, if I apply this Quran, or if I ignore this Quran or uh, ignore, ignore this meaning that Allah has given me this understanding or this application, if I don't apply it, then what would be the awaqib the, uh, of this verse or what is the connection of this verse with other verses, with other surahs? So tadabbur is a deeper uh, you know, uh, <laughs> reflection. Now, uh, we all, alhamdulillah, have been benefiting from the Quran in the last 20 days, but today being 21st and in the next few days, we need to think, uh, think about it, how we can benefit from the Quran in such a way that can have an impact uh, in, for the rest of the year and the rest of our lives. And one of the key accomplishment in this month, inshallah, be, will be that we make certain decisions related to Quran in the next few days. Some decisions that are practical, some, some decisions that are, can be measurable, that I'm going to do this with Quran from now on. I'm gonna make sure that no, no, no day is spared without reading the Quran, without reflection on the Quran, without memorizing something from the Quran, without applying the Quran, without conveying the message of Quran to others that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made, a, made us part of a great movement that we have to be active for the Quran, for the Islam, and always inshallah live as ambassadors of this Quran, as an ambassador of Islam, uh, in, as an active Muslim, active in our family circles, active in uh, among our relatives, among our friends, and 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 in the movement of Ikna and outside, uh, live as an uh, ambassador and convey, continue to convey the message of Quran through our lives and through our explanations with knowledge, inshallah, to others. That's the key accomplishment that we can say that from now on, from this Ramadan onwards, I will make sure that at least I spend, say, half an hour. One one hour, two hour, we all know our lives with Quran and I will make sure that no matter what, I will give that amount of time, even if I have to lose some sleep sometimes and something, and, and I will read the right translation and the right tafsir and I try to inshallah live with Quran, that will be a key accomplishment inshallah. So uh, we all uh, need to uh, share these humble thoughts and, and also uh, be sure that Quran is Made been, has been made easy for us. Allah repeatedly says so many times this verse that we have made this Quran easy so each one of us can inshallah develop the knowledge in much deeper ways, in much extensive ways, uh, uh, no matter where we, we know the Arabic language or other. And inshallah, if we make a commitment, we all can inshallah become serious students of Quran and we can promote that in our families. With that, let's inshallah ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this basic humble reminder uh, and uh, now make some special dua. Allahumma laka alhamdu wa laka shukru kullu. Allahumma laka alhamdu wa laka shukru li jameen i'amika anamta alayna wa ja'alna min ibadika al-shakirin. Allahumma ja'alna min ibadika al-shakur. Allahumma ja'alna min ibadika al-sa'imin al-mukhlisin. اللهم اجعلنا من إبادك المتقين اللهم اجعلنا من إبادك ال... من إبادك المنصورين وإبادك المخفورين في هذا شهر غفران يا الله يا رحمن يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم اجعلنا من إبادك المخلصين اللهم اجعلنا من عتقاء شهر رمضان اللهم اجعلنا من أتقاء شهر رمضان اللهم تقبل منا اللهم تقبل منا صلاتنا وصيامنا وقيامنا وركوعنا وسجودنا اللهم تقبل منا جهوداتنا وتقبل منا محاولاتنا يا الله يا رحمن يا ذا الجلال والإكرام 
Ya Allah, we are your humble servants. Ya Allah, we are making some efforts with the ability that you give us, with the resources that you are giving us, with the knowledge that you are giving us. Ya Allah, how can we thank you enough for all these abilities that you have given us, for all these resources you have given us? Ya Allah, thank you for this gift of Ramadan that we are alive again and healthy again, that we are passing this great month. Ya Allah, accept our efforts. Ya Allah, accept our humble sacrifices. Ya Allah, help us to benefit from the next few days in the most efficient ways. Ya Allah, help us to observe Laylatul Qadr. Ya Allah, help us to observe Laylatul Qadr and be a witness of Laylatul Qadr. Ya Allah, help us to spend the next few nights, every night of it, as if it is Laylatul Qadr. Ya Allah, help all of us and all of our families to be in, to, to worship you in, the, in a special ways and beautiful ways and more beautiful ways. Ya Allah, help us to become more active for your path, for your deen, for your message. Ya Allah, help us to live as ambassadors of Islam and ambassadors of your book, the Quran, and the message of your Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam in the best ways. Ya Allah, help us to become exemplary followers of this Quran. Ya Allah, make this Quran a comforter of our hearts, a comforter of our minds, a guide for our lives. Ya Allah, make this Quran to defend us in the grave, in the day of judgment. Ya Allah, help us, help us to be connected with the Quran all along our lifetime. Ya Allah, help us to benefit from the, the guidance of Quran in the most beneficial ways. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, we are your humble servants, we, uh, we slept here and there. Forgive us for our shortcomings, Ya Allah, in these days and nights of this special month of forgiveness. Forgive us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, forgive us for our shortcomings towards your book. Ya Allah, forgive us for lack of priority, the, the lack of the right priority for your book. Ya Allah, help us to give a higher priority from now on to, to your book. Ya Allah, help us to give a higher priority to be more active to in your path and in your message, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, indeed you have given us all kinds of opportunities. Ya Allah, help us to benefit from these different opportunities. Ya Allah, indeed you are our creator. You are our Lord. You are, you are our Rabb. You are our caretaker. You are our nurturer. You are our master, Ya Allah, you are our disposer, our wakil, Ya Allah, help us, help us to always remember you and help us to remember you in the most beneficial ways. Ya Allah, help us to share your teachings with other family members and friends and uh, everybody else that we come across. Ya Allah, help us in all aspects of our lives. Ya Allah, help us to benefit from the remaining of our lives on this earth. Ya Allah, indeed our time can expire any moment. Ya Allah, help us to be, uh, spend the time effectively and judiciously. Ya Allah, help us to pass the tests of life. Ya Allah, indeed every day, every day all of us are uh, coming across all kinds of tests that you are giving us. Ya Allah, help us to pass these tests in beautiful ways and get good grades in, uh, from your side, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us to be cognizant of these tests all the time. Ya Allah, help us to be cognizant in good times and bad times. Ya Allah, help us to remember that angels are recording us all the time. Ya Allah, help us to be conscious of you in this month and in the remaining of our lives. Ya Allah, help us all to pass the final judgment in the day of judgment with you, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us to get together in Jannah, all of us with our families, Ya Allah and all Muslims. Ya Allah, help us to enjoy the Jannah and your presence and your uh, pleasure 
uh, all of us together, Ya Allah, help us to stay, stick to each other, stick to the movement, stick to the path of the truth all the time, regardless of sacrifices that it requires. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, we seek your pleasure. Ya Allah, we seek your pleasure and we seek your Jannah. Help us to earn it and give it to us and grant it to us. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, help all Muslims all over the world who are suffering in different ways. Ya Allah, help them to be relieved in all countries, in all places, in Masjid al-Aqsa, in Palestine, in Afghanistan, in Kashmir, in all the places that they are suffering. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, help all of us to stand for them and stand for justice and peace. Ya Allah, we made dua to you. Accept our dua. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yusifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ameen, ameen, ameen. Akhir Sheikh Daud Nasimi for the former National Amir of Islamic Circle of America. Is he close to like Adam? Oh,